How's it going guys? It's your boy, Lieutenant Dan here with another Falcons film breakdown. Today's breakdown is going to be on Grady Jarrett, the Falcons uh, just leader on the defensive line and the guy that's really just been chugging and pushing forward for this Falcons team. I want to take a second before we get to the video and I want to say thank you to all of the viewers and all the subscribers who are helping me not only on my Twitch channel by subscribing to my Twitch channel, but also here on YouTube, subscribing to my YouTube and helping it grow and create an amazing community. With that being said, though, I do want to say quickly hit that like button, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button and go into the comments after this video and tell me what you think of Grady Jarrett and a little uh, sneak peek presentation of Deidre Sinat playing also on the defensive line with Grady Jarrett. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys get to see more of my videos and you go and check those out. And I apologize for the lateness of this video. It should have been up much, much sooner uh, because there's a lot of other people that are working really hard to put out this same type of content. And I should be working much, much harder to provide you with quality content like this. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy the video and the narration. Peace. I think I just want to talk a little bit about how Grady Jarrett was utilized in this game against the 49ers. There was a lot of mismatching at one tech where Grady Jarrett would come in against the center and he would uh, clog up a play and help make a tackle with his teammates. But there was also a lot of times where Grady would move from three tech to one tech. Uh, again, just moving along the line and creating havoc and disruption. Uh, sometimes you would see a missed tackle because of this particular setup. But in most cases, you would see Grady Jarrett creating that havoc that you're looking for because of the mismatch, knowing who he was playing against. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things, I think, that while I'm not, you know, I'm not advocating that Grady Jarrett needs one of those running mates in the middle to be able to do this type of nitty gritty job so that he can, uh, you know, be a little more free to create havoc. I am saying that it would, you know, it wouldn't deter him. It would definitely help him more often. And this kind of situation right here where he gets double teamed, a bigger defensive tackle would definitely be, you know, uh, better suited for that situation. But he, he commands a lot of attention and that allows you to be able to blitz linebackers off the edge or, uh, you know, be able to bring in a safety or uh, bring in a, some kind of stunt. And again, it, it just kind of, it allows you to utilize one of Grady Jarrett's better abilities, which is just using his hand technique, uh, allowing him to come in and, and create havoc in the pocket. In this particular game, he was set up in that you know scenario. Heavier linemen around Grady Jarrett usually creates a lot of havoc and mismatch, like this on the sack here that was called back for a penalty. You know, Grady Jarrett coming in there and hitting that kind of quarterback. Um, you know, Deidre Sinat was a huge help actually. Uh, in this entire thing, 94 here on the screen. Um, you know, Grady just, you know, he'll penetrate. He gets washed out in some of these plays, but, uh, you know, he opens up for linebackers and edge setters to be able to make that play. You know, it just, it kind of, it's interesting. You see Sanat on the screen here with Grady, and, you know, they put them at three and one through, through the entire game, and I felt like I was just seeing two Grady Jarrett's, you know, although Sanat holds up better at run, run defending, I think, you know, Grady Jarrett still shows you that ability to run defend very well. But, you know, on, on these types of plays where he can gap shoot and go and get a guy in the backfield, that's exactly what you want. That's exactly what you want. You want you want him to be able to do that kind of thing. This was an interesting look. A nose tackle. Uh, just sitting at that zero and then whooping on the center and getting through. Although we didn't get to the quarterback in, in, in the amount of time that you'd want to be able to disrupt that kind of play you still see these kind of plays throughout the entire game. And, and I just wanted to showcase some of these these smaller things, you know, where he just dominates an offensive lineman and they create turnovers and, and are able to get into the pocket. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed the looks here on this video. And I will be doing more. I'll be doing a Caleb McGarry video for you guys very, very soon. Thanks, guys.